going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today with another madden 24 ultimate team video we got early reveals for the gridiron guardians promo which is dropping in month 24 later this afternoon now if you guys enjoy this video if you like it if it helps you out make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button shows a lot of support on the channel helps the videos get noticed also if you're brand new here you're searching on youtube for month 24 content whether it's how to make coins how to get free players how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos before we get into the reveals allow me to get a quick promo off underdog fantasy is running two different specials number one you have access if you're a new user to this special daniel jones line where you can add this to any pick em entry and it's going to help you or give you a better chance at winning some cash i'll be posting my picks for tonight's games and this weekend's games over on twitter but not only that if you sign up today between today and October 4th using code pop or my special link which will be down below in the comment section as a pin comment they are now matching your first deposit up to $500 so if you deposit $200 off rip they're going to give you $200 free to play with you can even do $10 if you want to give it a try if you do want to show some support and some love to me signing up for underdog fantasy and using code pop is a huge help now what you came here for let's get into the reveals we got a bunch of 81 overalls i'm not about to break these cards down because at the end of the day 81s and 83s for most people aren't going to be very helpful unless they help you boost up your theme team at various positions it is worth noting with these 81 overalls ej speed and dustin hopkins also got cards but i wasn't able to grab the screenshot for those players so my apologies there but i don't think attribute wise you're really missing anything we have a couple exchange sets for 81s and an 81 plus set uh you need four 78 overall gg players and then any 76 and 77s two more of those you put those into a set you get an 81 doesn't sound like it's worth it to me and also it looks like we're going to get 78s they didn't reveal any of those i'm sure they'll be on mutt.gg later there is also an 81 plus pack these are normally no good some people may get lucky out of them but the majority will not so i would stay away from the 81 plus pack now we have 83 overalls. You're going to notice these chem icons like on this Nick Bodden card, you see a S. And if I remember correctly, that stands for scrapper. Basically, it kind of works like some of the promos last year where if you have so many scrapper players on your team and they can also be hidden in the depth chart, like he could be your second fullback. Um, but it's going to basically activate additional attribute boosts on certain cards. Once everything is in game later this afternoon, we'll be able to show you a little bit better, but just notice Ryan Bates as well has scrappers so if you have both of these cards on your team even if they're both backups that's going to boost them but there's also higher overall cards that are going to have that scrapper chem as well so it is a way to make some of these players a little bit better things like this are always cool in my opinion from a team building standpoint I know a lot of you will get very creative and find ways to make with these players you know these type of chems plus team chems make them maybe plus two and overall so uh, we'll go over that again in more detail and talk about the best players to pick up but those are all of the 83s you do have an exchange set three 81 gg players will give you a fantasy pack that gives you any 83 of your choice and those were all the 83s we have a bunch of heroes which are 86 overalls the champions are going to bump up to 89 overall so we have chris manhurts and he is a tight end he has the uh, it's something legs is the l there and again i'll cover it all when the stuff is in game you're going to have a couple opportunities to earn these 86 overalls for free but via how rules and the field pass and it is a two-part promo so there will likely be more 86s and 89s added in uh here is the second 86 zach allen right end with only 76 speed we're going to keep it pushing there we have alec in gold i can tell you right now this will probably be a pretty good pick for a free card because fullback is almost never a position that you want to spend your coins on this one will help improve that ovr if you're looking to maybe get to an 85 86 87 or even an 88 there an 85 speed out of the backfield field for a fullback and pretty good lead block there this one isn't terrible so this will probably be a favorite uh jeff okuda he gets 86 speed 86 zone 83 man pretty good zone coverage corner there for an 86 overall to have 86 speed seems pretty reasonable hopefully we see some outliers uh with faster cards eventually preston smith another 86 
Outside linebacker, 81 speed, block shed, power move, uh, both in the 88s. Finesse move is pretty terrible. And then Chris Alave, I think, is the final 86, also with 86 speed. Pretty solid catching and route running. This looks like a friendly, a budget-friendly wide receiver, though there are a lot of really good free options at that same position. So I don't know how many of you are going to be using this one. Here is the exchange set for 86 overalls. You're going to need five 83s. You put them into a set. You get the 86s, and the 86s are going to be important because those are going to help you build out 89s before we get to those. We do have two LTDs. The first one is Danell Hunter, 85 speed outside linebacker. He may have been team of the week worthy for his three sack performance against the Eagles. He didn't get it, but he gets a pretty solid LTD here. 89 finesse move, 83 block shed, power move only at 79, and it doesn't look like the LTDs are going to get any of those special chems, which I was kind of hoping because if we could boost up this AJ Brown to make him a little bit better, that would be ideal. Only 87 speed for AJ. I wish it would have been 88. We'll get him to 88 with our, our 25 Eagles chem there, and we'll definitely be on Twitch later tonight with gameplay for this card and some of the other new cards that are dropping out today. He does get slot apprentice for 2 AP and short out elite for 3 AP. I don't think it's worth that much AP in this year's game. Those are your two LTDs. The champion we only got four of them, and I think a lot of people, including myself, are going to feel disappointed about that. It seems like this is kind of what they're doing all year, so at this point, I'm kind of used to it and expecting it. I don't think we're going to see those promos where, like, every team, aside from maybe Team Diamonds, I don't think we're going to see where, like, every single team gets a champion card in a promo. I, I just don't think we're seeing that this year. Um, we have this Cowboys player. Notice he has, I can't say his last name. That's why I'm skipping it, and the Cowboys suck, so it is what it is. But notice he has not only Cowboys chem, he has two of those other special chemistries there. And I think you're going to notice that on a couple other players. Scrapper for Quentin Nelson is times two. It's not on the artwork there, but they did say that on GMM. 91 strength, 89 awareness, 85 pass block, 88 run block. Looks like the best left guard in the game. We'll probably try to pick him up here. Uh, Isaiah Simmons, another one that was revealed on Twitter last night. This will certainly be my new user. I might even make him a coverage safety. Kind of seems stupid to do so, but they gave him 87 zone, 85 man, and then of course 88 speed, 89 hit power makes him even better for user purposes, but he'll be another card we absolutely will be using later tonight on Twitch. And the final champion is going to be Najee Harris, hoping that this card brings the price down on DeAndre Swift just a little bit. Kind of crazy that Najee Harris and A.J. Brown have the same speed. 87 speed for Harris, 70 catching, pretty respectable. He has good trucking, good break tackle. I'll be curious to see what that juke move and spin move is. If so, this could be one of the best running backs in the game. Bo obviously is a little bit more faster, but with that 70 catch rating, and again, the spin and the juke move, we'll have to see on that. Uh, this could make him extremely versatile, a little bit better than Bo Jackson for that reason. For the 89 overall GG champion, Again, this is kind of what they've been doing all year with the big promos on Thursdays. They went one up and overall on the champion card, so that's going to be the same for the set requirements. You need any five 86 to 87 overall cards from any promo. doesn't have to be specifically for GG for the Gridiron Guardians promo. You don't get anything back in return other than the player that you're doing. So in this example, if you complete the Najee Harris set, that's all you get back in return. No BNDs. There is a new house rules that I believe said will be going until October 4th. Here are the rewards. Pretty standard. I do like at level 4 that you get an 86 overall BND GG hero. Of course we will uh, drop a video going over the best heroes to take once we all break them all down. But Alex Ingold, I think his name was the fullback right now, off the top of my head here, is looking like the best player. This promo also is going to have a field pass. Here are all of the rewards. You may have noticed here early on you're not going to get too much, but I don't know what that 84 overall upgrade token is for, so maybe there's a free player in a welcome pack and that upgrade token is going to bump them up uh, but at level 12 you get an 86 overall hero fantasy pack that is a bnd and then at level 20 when you max it out which likely won't be possible until next week for part two of the promo you're going to get yourself another hero fantasy pack this one non-bnd i would have liked to see the same thing they did with the previous promo ultimate kickoff where they give you either an auctionable hero 86 overall or a random non-auctionable champion 89 overall 
I wish they would keep that format the entire year. I think that was a W. Even if the champion's a random card, I, I still like that they did that. And then finally, we end the video with legend teasers down below in the comment section. Who do you think we see here? Looks like the middle one is a Packer player for sure. Maybe a Steeler over on the left. And on the far right, looks like maybe a Chicago Bear, maybe Walter Payton. I just want another running back to drop the price down on DeAndre Swift. That's my hope because I don't want to pay that many coins for him right now at his current price. Thank you guys for tuning into another video. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.